with Anthony Falk, product manager of the Audi A8, which is right behind us. It is the fourth generation of Audi's flagship sedan, and this model in particular is very important because it has many advanced driver safety systems. Anthony, why don't you tell us about some of the most cutting edge safety systems in the sedan? Okay, uh, the new A8 is a very exciting car for us because it brings an entire new generation of uh, driver assistance systems as well as um, infotainment systems, all new generation of these things. And when it comes to driver assistance, we have a new uh, processor, we call it our, in German it's steadfast, but it's a new um, central controller computer that is controlling all of the driver assistance systems. Uh, there are sensors all the way around the car that include radars, cameras, uh, laser. Um, with the A8 will be the first, uh, as far as our information is, that to have LiDAR, laser on the car in our um, garage pilot. So all of these systems together are really um, meant, designed to take load off the driver, um, take stress out of your drive, make your drive safer. And there are some great systems such as uh, Adaptive Cruise Assist, which is a system, it's a level two system that uh, on, the, on the highway or actually at any speed um, will keep you in front of the car in front, keep you in your lane, and take a lot of the stress out as long as you're still paying attention. Um, also, the, the A8 was developed for uh, a level three system, which is our traffic jam pilot, so all the hardware is ready. Um, the car can, do, um, in certain conditions, can take over and drive. However, right now we don't have a, a planned introduction date yet because we need to um, wait and make sure that the, you know, the legal regulatory an insurance environment is ready and while the car is ready, the environment really isn't yet. What needs to happen in order for you to bring level three to a, a widespread point? Well, it's a very exciting, exciting time, frankly. They're, the insurance companies are thinking about these things. What happens if, if an autonomous car is driving down the street and somebody hits it? The insurance company would claim, yeah, but nobody was driving that car, but the car wasn't um, breaking any laws. It was following as it should and it was actually someone out, a driver's fault. Or if a policeman is driving down the road and he passes somebody and he sees the guy doesn't have his hands on the steering wheel and it, it, he's supposed to. So how do we handle these situations? Um, the regulations, there are a few different regulatory bodies that are putting out the different um, re advice or regulations and guidelines. Um, there are no set laws right now. That each state has has laws of whether or not they can have an autonomous. Um, but as far as testing, um, it's di it's different in each state. But right now, I believe we have almost all the states. Or I shouldn't say we, not just Audi, but uh, many of the manufacturers are working with the uh, legislatures to to get this to a point where um, states and insurance companies can embrace this technology to hopefully make everything safer uh, on the road and uh, and also legal, at least when it comes to. Thank you very much. Yep.